Joining me now, good friend, known him a long, long time. It was announced that he's going to be on the Utah beat for the Deseret News. Jody Genesee here on The Drive. What's up, Jody? How are you, man? Hey, man. Good to hear you on the, the airwaves again in Utah. That's, love it. We need a selfie of you in the RX bar on your teeth. I want to see that. You know what, Jody? For you, I will do that. I will take it. I will send it to only you. <laughs> but seriously, these RX bars, man, they're sticky. I got to stop eating them during the break because then it's tough when I come back in. I'm addicted to the uh, the protein bars from Costco, but that's an- another story. I got the brownie one is really good. <laughs> nice. I'll have to try those out. How you been, man? Everything good? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's good. It's an interesting time. I I was not expecting this uh, this new beat assignment, uh, but I'm actually really excited about it. So, you know all about transitions. So yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So. Um, and you, you've kind of covered the gamut. You've done the jazz, you know, you've done your own thing. You've done features, you've covered BYU. So what about this, Jody, this new assignment excites you the most? Well, yeah, that's, I mean, it's been two years since I actually had a, a, a focus beat. I've been kind of a general assignment type writer for the last two years. I've really enjoyed that. Got to write a lot. I, I've been going to high schools right now. I went to Providence Hall and Copper Hills and, West Jordan and my alma mater Kearns, go Cougars, uh, you know, and I just, I've enjoyed kind of the flexibility, but there's always, it's always good to have some ownership of a, of a beat or an assignment where you can really sink your teeth in and you can start getting to know some people. And there's just so many good people at, at the U and so many good stories. And it's just a like, honestly, I, I'm jumping on this beat as it's a Pac-12 power. They're picked to, to win the, the championship this year and perhaps be a you know a playoff contender that's that's pretty exciting and there really are so many good people up there um and and, you know when it when it comes to granting access sometimes it can be a little bit tricky and that's just the name of the game these days and jody you know this media has just changed you know sometimes there's a little bit of paranoia sometimes they're just trying to protect the message and trying to control the narrative um, so that's that, but but that's a challenge you're going to run to, run into, um, no matter where you go. Um, but you're going to have a lot of fun covering these coaches and these players. And we were talking about this earlier, Jody. Dis- despite the fact that there's so much pressure because of the expectations, it feels like a group that understands and they they seem relaxed, they seem happy. It seems like a really good group this year. Yeah, and they exactly they. I, I think that this is they have the the type of personality and attitude that they can handle that pressure and it starts from the head the top with Kyle Whittingham but they've got a good group of, of guys uh, you know and a lot of experience and a lot of talent and man it's it's going to be a uh, really interesting it's uh, I, I I think you had Yogi on later today Yogi Roth and yep he had some really uh, just some great things to say about the youth I, I got kind of pumped up after hearing him I'm like wow We'll be watching an Alabama Clemson Ohio State hybrid here. <laughs> that's pretty exciting. But you know, I go back. I go way back with some of these guys. You know, that's that's the fun about being in the sports world as long as I've been. Um, I was the high school prep editor back in uh, the 1990s when Morgan Scally played for Highland, and I chose him for I. I started the Mr. Football program for the Utah for uh, the Deseret News for Utah. Utah's Mr. Football, and it came down to Reno Mahe and Morgan Scally, and uh, you know that, that was a, either of them could have won it honestly, but we went with Morgan, and so you know I go way back with him, and it, it's fun to see these these guys that you covered in high school as teenagers, all of a sudden just grow up, and and now like Morgan's on the, you know he's gonna be a head coach someday, but he's coaching the defense for a, a, a top 10, 15 team. That's pretty awesome. And, you know, the, the, the funny thing, and, and Jody, you just mentioned it, how um, wh- when you're in this state, in this market long enough, you're kind of indissolubly linked to every program. So while they're, <laughs> they're you know, there are people out there that are just going to be mad online because that's what they've chosen to do with their life. So allow them to be mad online. It doesn't really matter because what a lot of people maybe don't understand is like tomorrow we're going to chat with Aaron Roderick. Aaron's history is fascinating. He grew up a Utah fan, but Utah didn't recruit him. So he went to BYU was a grad assistant at BYU and then coached at Utah and uh, and now he's back at BYU and 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 you know Kalani defensive coordinator at the University of Utah coaching BYU Kyle Whittingham went to BYU like the ties are really fascinating and so for all the people who just want to be mad online again allow them to be mad online 
really there, there there's so much mutual respect and love between these programs. Now, when when the game is played, they want to smash smash each other's heads in. But it's right. funny how you know even I have ties to both programs. I went to BYU basketball camp. My siblings are Cougars. My parents went to BYU. I went to Utah. Like it's funny if you if you're able to last in this business in this market long enough, chances are you do have ties to both schools. Oh my gosh, yeah, and I. It's popular for sports writers uh, to say that they're they're unbiased and objective, and they don't have uh, a favorite team. But I'll be honest; I know I'm on the youth station. I grew up a huge BYU fan, and and I'm not going to hide that fact. But uh, I've learned one thing: you learn quickly over as a sports writer is you have to put your biases in your pocket when when you're doing your job. And so I know I have I have a little bit of fun about Jimmer and and this and that on on Twitter, but I. Man, I, I've done. I've written dozens, if not hundreds, of stories about the youth, and they. You know, I just have always enjoyed the people and uh, getting to know Alex Jensen better, and Johnny Bryant, and Delon Wright, and Andre Miller on the on the NBA beat, Jakob Pertl, those guys on the NBA beat, and I did a, a fun feature on Matt Gay last year. You just, you know, you you kind of put your biases or your rooting interests uh, to the side, and you're just going out to look for the best story. And like we both said, they're just so many good stories. I, uh, I just talked to the the Harriman Hyatt coach Dustin Pierce about uh, Lucky Potu, and so I'm excited to get a chance to talk to him and do a, a bigger story on on Lucky and and his awesome progress and his great career and future. And I, I I don't know. They're just you know, they're good people. Both somewhere blue, somewhere red, but we're a lot more similar than we are different. No, there's no doubt about that. Well, hey, look, congrats on the new gig. I'm sure you'll kill it. And before we let you go, um, talk about the coverage. What can fans expect and where they can where can they find your content? No, I appreciate that. Yeah, one of the things that I'll be doing, and it's debuting tonight, uh, so it's a weekly newsletter, and I'm pretty excited about that because I get to let my hair down a little bit and uh, write with some personality. So we'll have some fun with the U Insiders newsletter. So you can go to the Deseret News. It's Deseret Coms now, and go to the sports section and there's newsletters you can subscribe to that or go to my twitter feed at dj jazzy jody but i'll be doing features and uh, game coverage and i'll be uh carrying the water bottle around for dirk baser and mike Sorensen. so i've got all sorts of responsibilities nice and dirk and mike two of the best uh not just not just riders but two of the best dudes out there so um hey man uh, looking forward to reading your stuff and i'm sure we'll uh chat again uh, either on or off air i appreciate our relationship and your friendship, and great to be back, man. We'll chat soon, okay? Be well.